Nights and Weekends is, um, it's kind of hard to synopsize, but it's about a long distance um, couple who, um, they, they have some problems. <laughs> and um, it's, it's kind of tracked over um, a, a year of their, um, over a year of their relationship. And it was shot um, over 18 months, so it took a long time. And it really, so when time passes in their lives, time actually passed in our lives. And um, so it's, a, it's this kind of a portrait of a couple. <laughs> we shot the first half of the film in, um, in December 2006. And, um, and then we tried to edit it over, over the course of um, that spring. And um, we realized um, that there, it, there wasn't enough. I mean, there was plenty of footage, but we, we were like, this isn't the end of the story. And so um, we decided, as hard as it was, we were like, you know, we got to go back and shoot more. So then we carved out t about two weeks in um, December of 2007. And, uh, finished it up and um, so it was like um, it was a very strange process of feeling like we were done with it and figuring out that we weren't done with it which parallels in the movie these people saying they were done with the, re the relationship and then figuring out they weren't done with the relationship and and I think that happens a lot in this movie that um, what what happens in the fictional world of the film sort of is symbolically aligned with what was actually going on in our lives I've, I've collaborated with Joe now on um, I guess three films. One of them, my first film I worked with him on was LOL, in which I never met him. I did all of my work over a cell phone. And then I met him when it premiered at South by Southwest. And we decided to, he decided to ask me to do Hannah. And then I made Hannah Takes the Stairs. And uh, then we started working on the beast that became Nights and Weekends. And um, I don't know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a really like a lot of ups and downs of artistic collaboration. and. We are very competitive with each other, but we're also very supportive of each other, and I think that we really push each other to make things better. It was really hard. I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to lie and say it was like easy. It's always hard. I'm, I think, um, and the emotional stuff as much as the physical stuff, but the physical stuff was hard. It's not, um, I mean, I've been, um, I don't have a problem with nudity in films, but there's, there's a really big difference between being naked um, and just you're naked, nobody's touching you. And being naked and somebody's touching you, it's, it's terribly, in some ways it's traumatizing, not, not because a person's bad, but because, um, but because your brain is doing so many movements. It's like, this, this is not happening, it's fictional, but then you're also like, but it's happening, somebody's actually touching me. And then you're like, and, and it's like there's so many things firing, and as an actor you want to make it real, but then as a person you're like, it's not real, and it's, it's incredibly complicated, and it's weird, and it alienates you from your own body, which I think is, I, I can't imagine anything more dramatic. So, I mean, I won't lie, those things were, God, they, they were really difficult. But I think that um, the thing that I found was, that I always felt most comfortable with um, the, the physical uh, stuff if I treated it like, um, like a fight scene, like it's highly choreographed, because the reason fight scenes are highly choreographed is because if it doesn't, somebody's gonna get hurt. And the same thing is true of um, like sex scenes or something like that, is that you have, to, you have to be clear about everything at every moment, because otherwise it just, um, you're entering a world of, of gray area where people can really um, get freaked out. I do feel like um, I want to be free as an actor to explore um, where a scene can go, but there's something about when you when if it's going to be a fight or if it's going to be a sex scene, you gotta you gotta stop the fudging because you can't just see where it goes because you know where it goes. You know it's like like you either get the crap beaten out of you or you have sex. <laughs> like that's where it goes. Conversations go in lots of different places, but like. The, that those place those go in one direction, and um, and I think that that's like when you need to sort of nail it down. But it's a hard line to walk because, like, of course, you don't want to be artificial about it either. Yeah, I've had some pretty painful breakups. I guess. I mean, I don't know if there's a not painful breakup, and it's always shitty to see them later. It's always it never gets easier. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, my life awesome. <laughs> no, I'm in a great relationship now. <laughs> <laughs>